the bat here. Hope you're doing well on this fine day. So, earlier last week, we, you know, we got the Superman news that Warner Brothers is moving forward with the Man of Steel 2 with the Henry Cavill. But we also found out in that article that Matt Reeves, the director of the recent Batman movie with Robert Pattinson, the Batman, my Bat, Pattinson, Pattinson, our Bat, as I like to call him. Um, that he is also not only working on the Penguin spinoff on HBO Max, obviously working on the Batman 2, but he's also, now he's come out and said that he's also working on villain spinoff movies. He wants to do spinoff movies with certain villains in the Batman Rose Gallery. Two of them he mentioned in the article. I know two were, uh, Scarecrow, Clayface, and, what is it, Pig? Something Pig. Piggy. Wink, wink. Um, Dr. Pig. Nothing with the word Pig in it. I forget the actual character, the villain. But, mainly the Clayface, Scarecrow, some Pig villain, wink, wink, and other villains. So that made me think that A, that's interesting. B, I hope they don't go the Sony route in the whole Spider-Man Rose Gallery of Venom, Morbius, Craven. You know, those haven't worked out so well so far. Venom 2 and Morbius. Um, then even the first Venom is pretty good. Uh, if you want to waste 90 minutes on a Saturday, that's fine. But, they haven't been like, you know, high level here, but... And considering we already got the first Batman movie that introduced the Penguin, Colin Farrell, Zoe Kravitz as Catwoman, and uh, Paul Dano's Riddler, and we also got the Baron Keegan's Joker scene, most of the one in the movie and then the deleted scene that was given to us at the end of March, so he's already introduced four Batman villains already in the Batman movie. And he's already working on a Batman 2. And even then, he's in, you know, one villain he would love to bring, kind of bring, give that villain his due would be uh, Mr. Freeze. That he wasn't well received in 97 with Arnold Schwarzenegger. So, my question would be, other than for Scarecrow and Clayface and Pinky over there, um, we've already seen Scarecrow in the Christopher Nolan movies played by Killian Murphy. And even in Batman Begins, he did a great job as Scarecrow. And then, of course, he showed up in The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises. So, I might have you Emil, what would you do in the Scarecrow movie? That would be, in I mean, it would be interesting. It could be even darker than the Batman movie. But in my, in my opinion, if I were going to take certain villains in the Batman Rose Gallery and make solo movies for movies that would not require Batman to be, to, and that's the other thing. Does Batman show up in these movies? Even though it's mainly the villain. I don't know. But let's just say Batman is not in the movies. Well, then you gotta really think about what villains you're going to use. So, in my opinion, the villains that you can do would be Mr. Freeze. I think mean, he would be an easy villain to do without having Batman in there. Because he's a doctor. He's trying, his wife gets sick with cancer, he's trying to cure, cure of the cancer, so he's trying to find a way to cure, he goes down a dark path, and eventually, you know, goes way too far, and becomes Mr. Freeze. So yeah, that could be, that could work. You can do some kind of medical drama in a, you know, 
two-hour movie showing an interesting art from good good guy doctor to unhinged doctor by the end of it. It's a work. Another one would be Harvey Dent. Two Faced. I think Two Faced would actually be, even though yes, you could argue the Dark Knight with Aaron Eckhart of Two Faced really showed that arc. But I think you can still, might be as right, you can still do a Harvey Dent movie without Batman. See the rise and fall of Harvey Dent from young, you know, young wannabe uh, senator or mayor of Gotham comes into Gotham, new person on the block, is running for mayor or for whatever, governor, whatever he's running for, oh, district attorney, district attorney, and, you know, he gets in and then things happen and the city starts going out of control and he can't control it and something happens to his wife and it completely sends them over the edge. You should do that. That would be another interesting arc. But once again, with Harvey Knight, you gotta do something that's different from what we saw in The Dark Knight. So, either he's already Harvey Knight slash two face, and now he's just going through the mental issues of seeing his face half burnt off, but when he looks in the mirror, he sees his normal face, and do it more of like a psychological drama, that could be interesting. Another character would be Poison Ivy. You could. Uh, Poison Ivy would be interesting if they're doing with climate change. You could have a, you know, a, you know, climate protector, climate activist. Almost like a Leonardo DiCaprio now. He's very much into climate. Uh, climate control, climate change, global warming. And have a character like that, but female. You know, that could be an interesting story. Well, yeah, it all, all depends on the story and the meat of the story that can show a two-hour movie without having Batman in it. So, uh, what else? I'm not going to say Bane. You know, may, unless you have some guy in a luchador mask fighting like Nacho Libre. Not so. Um, I don't think he would work. Um, Man Bat? No. I don't know how they would do Clayface. That's interesting. Um, Hugo! Hugo is strange to me. One. The guy who not only I find out the. The first person to ever find out the identity of Batman. But also the guy who is runs Arkham Asylum. You know, uh, prison for mental patients. That can be interesting. Like one flew over the food nets. What in the in the POV of Hugo Strange? That can be interesting. So yeah, let me know in the comments below. Do you want to see a Batman spin-off movie with Batman villains as solo movies, almost like <coughs> what Sony is doing with Morbius and Venom? And Craven. And who would you want to see? What villain would you want a solo movie for? Let me know in the comments below. Matt the Matt here.